Hello everybody, my name is Pierre from Reception Academy. Um, today we are going to discuss how to check in a guest. Please note this tutorial video has been designed for students taking the Opera PMS Home Study course. If you don't have already access to the software, I have added the course link in the video description below and you could get Opera PMS installed in your own PC to tag along. Prior to start, your guest will need a reservation arriving today. In our case, the 13th of April 2020. To start a check-in, you want to go to the front desk menu, click on it once, uh, you can see that it becomes highlighted, and then you want to go to your arrival list. For that, you click on arrivals. To find your guest booking, you will need to type in some information. So in our case, we will type Smith, his last name. You just need to put the three first letters is enough in most cases and click search. If it was not enough, you could have some more criteria, for example, uh, initial of the first name, the confirmation number, or the telephone number or email address in that field. To open the reservation, you just need to select it, double click on it, or alternatively click on edit. Now that the guest booking is open, you want to assign a room to this reservation. To do so, click on the room drop-down menu. Based on your guest booking selection, dates, and room type, the system will now display all the rooms available at the moment. Please note that the room display will only be the vacant one, meaning that the previous guest is gone, and they are inspected. They have been cleaned by housekeeping and checked by the housekeeping supervisor. If your guest has a specific preferences, you could add them in that section. Imagine that your guest wanted a quiet room, or maybe a room away from the lift. To add it, you need to click on the drop-down menu, and then you need to find your code, which is displayed in that list. Ah, here we are, away from the lift. And here you can see there is a box in front, so if you click on it once, it will add a little cross, and then you press OK. Now, to refresh your screen, you must press Search. And here you will see that straight away the system reduces the selection of rooms available. The system will only show rooms which are matching all the code you have selected here, so ensure that you don't select too many, if not, you will not have any result. To select a room, you just need to click on the line and click on OK. That will select your room number. Now, as you can see, your room has been updated. It is important to save. If you fail to save, the system will not print the room number on the registration card. And you will have to write it manually. The registration card is a contract between the guest and the hotel. It states that the guest is renting a bedroom and will pay for whatever he used during his stay. It is important that the guest Sign it and complete it properly during uh, the check-in process. To print it, you need to click on Options, just here, and then you want to find the box called Registration Card, just here. And finally, once you've got the correct paper in the printer, you want to click on Print. Once the registration card is printed, you will need to explain to the guest what he's signing for. So we will repeat his date of stay, we will highlight the room number and the rate per night without mentioning them out loud because they are confidential information. You would then ask him to complete his address, confirm his contact details, telephone and email address, and if he's a non-UK citizen, he will also need to complete his passport details. Once done, get him to sign the form. While the guest is filling up the form, you will ask him for his credit card to authorize the cost of his stay, plus an extra 50 pound per night to cover any extra he could get. Now, if you want to check the amount, if you click on this ellipsis button, just here, the system will calculate an estimation. So, as you can see, it's number of night times daily rate plus amount, which is a total amount of 1,020 pound. If the guest didn't want it, you could always change the rule, authorization rule here, to number one, which is the cost of the stay only. As you can see, the system decreases the authorization we will block. Now, let's imagine in that occasion that the guest wants the extras. So press OK, click on OK. Now, in case the credit card number was different, you will update it at that stage. You are now ready to check in the guest. To do so, you just need to press OK. The system will pop a window telling you, would you like to check in the guest? Say yes. Your guest is not anymore on the arrival list because he has been checked in. If you want to find him, you need to close that panel. And then you want to go to the next option called in-house guest. Click on it once. And then you need to type in the 
details of your guest. So in our case, let's say Smith again and click search. As you can see, the booking appear. We are now checked in, as you can see, in the room 407 that we selected previously. To open the reservation, double click on it. Before returning the guest credit card and hand out the key, we will have to authorize the credit card on a chip and pin device. Now the chip and pin device will issue a docket a ticket. And on that ticket, you will have the authorization code. We will need to insert it in that section where it says approval code and approval de mont. That will allow us to charge the credit card uh, upon departure using the money we blocked at check-in time. Um, to insert the code, you need to go to option. And you want to go to credit card, then you want to go to the authorization section, then you want to click on the manual button, and uh, you want to go to the next slide where it's an approval code. And here, based on the uh, transaction code issued by the ship and device that will change, you type in the code displayed on the little top ticket. So in my case, I will type in one, two, three, four, five, six, and I click on OK. And I close that panel, and here you can see that everything has been displayed in that section. You should now verify that the guest credit card is signed, and that the signature on the back of it matches the one which is on your registration card. If that is not the case, you may want to ask for a picture ID uh, in order to confirm that the credit card belongs to the guest. It is now time to return the guest his credit card and then out his room keys. Uh, also explain him how to access the room without mentioning the room number for privacy. Your guest has now been checked in and we are done with the task. To close your window, you just need to press OK and close your in-house guest panel. So you now know how to check in a guest. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.